So for, um, for number 48, we have a, they want us to find the volume of the frustum of a right circular cone. So what I've done is I've drawn it out on the x, y axis and put the two points here. So the first point, um, it crosses the y axis and it's at zero capital R, which is the height of that bigger radius here. And for the smallest radius, um, the height is little r. And then on the x-axis, we, ha we have h, which h is this distance here uh, between the two, the two circles, right? So basically what's happening here is that we're taking a point in, this, in the height of the, this line that connects these two points, and then we're taking it and then revolving about the x-axis, like so. So whenever we revolve a random point here, we're getting this, uh, we're getting these circles so that when we add them horizontally, uh, we're adding them from zero all the way to H, we, we're gonna get this, um, this cone, right? That volume, it's like stacking up a bunch of plates horizontally. So uh, we're basically summing up all these areas, right? These areas have uh, pi r squared, where the radius of each one is just the height of this line that connects both of them. So all we have to do here is have an expression for this line that connects them so that we can integrate it. Um, <clears throat> so this line is just a straight line of the form y is equal to mx plus b, where b is the y-intercept and m is the slope. So if m is the slope, that is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. And then, which is equal to, let's consider this point, um, point one, and that's point two. So this is little r minus uh, capital R over h. And then, so our line becomes y is equal to little r minus capital R over h x, because that's our, our slope, our m, plus b, b is the y-intercept, but we can see here that it crosses the, the y-axis at capital R. So therefore, our area, our area here is pi times this guy squared times, um, let me just, yeah, little r minus capital R over h x plus capital R squared. So, um, when we square this, let's foil this out. This is going to be, let's see, uh, that's pi times uh, little r squared minus 2 capital R little r plus r squared over h squared. Uh, all of this times um, x squared and then plus... 2x capital R times this stuff, right? Times um, R minus over H, and then plus R squared. So that's what we get when we um, <clears throat> when we fold it out. And once we have this expression, we're basically ready to integrate because we're just summing up these areas from zero to H. So we're summing up from 0 to h all this stuff right here. So that's pi times all this stuff here. Um, and let me see if I, can, if I can copy that to make it go a little bit easier. Let's see if it moves. Hmm. Okay, that's much better. Yeah, and let me put that pi outside. Okay. So once we have this, we are ready to integrate. Um, and then let, let's just, uh, so we're integrating, sorry, I forgot to add with respect to x, right? So all these r's, they're just constants, and what we're integrating with is with respect to x. So we have here uh, pi outside times um, x cubed over three, that's the, the integral of the first, and then, um, times h squared on the bottom, and then times all this stuff, minus 2, and then plus, this is going to be x squared over 2, so that's going to be x squared over 2, which cancels out with that 2, so just plus x squared r um, times this, and then plus r squared x, and all of this um, 
all of this evaluated from 0 to h. So when we plug in our boundaries, uh, the lower one's going to disappear, right? Because it's going to be 0 for everything. So we only have to plug in h. So it's going to be pi times h cubed over 3h squared. We're plugging in h whenever we find x times r squared minus 2 times this plus r squared. And then plus um, h squared, h squared r times plus r squared h. So um, once I have this, let's see. These h, these h's are going to cancel out, right? So let me just put that in. So this cancels out with that. Um, this cancels out with that. And for all of these, we're going to be left with a single h. So I'm going to, I'm going to put that outside. So we're going to have pi h times, and now we're just left with the 3 on the bottom, right? So let me expand that. r squared over 3 minus 2 capital R little r over 3 plus capital R squared over 3. And then plus, let's see, uh, I'm going to expand this minus r squared and then plus r squared. Um, yeah, so I just distributed this r and then let's simplify it out. So pi h and then let's see, this is little r squared over 3 minus 2 thirds plus 1. That's going to be plus uh, this over 3 because that's minus 2 thirds here plus 1 and then plus r squared over 3. Um, these two cancel out, so they go to 0, which is just equal to pi h over 3 times uh, little r squared plus capital R little r plus capital R squared. And that's what we get. Um, that's the volume of our the frustum of this right circular cone. When we take the line that connects, um, that connects these two points, the end of the, the circles, and then we revolve it about the x-axis.